So here is the Polywog wheel and the Queen Bee wheel from Spinolution. This one I'm touching now is the Queen Bee. She is a travel wheel and she opens and closes with this super cool and easy to use mechanism. You can see <laughs> I'm thrilled. So the size difference is actually fairly minimal as far as footprint goes. Um, obviously the orifice is taller on the Queen Bee. Both of them have three bobbin lazy kates on the polywog here. You can pull the metal pins out and it's located behind the bobbin. You can pull that flyer head off and change um, to a 12 ounce if you want to. The treadle system is so <laughs> sweet and smooth. You barely even have to move it. It is cool as crap. <laughs> I'm just super enthusiastic about the mechanisms of both of these wheels, so bear with me. So you can see here um, kind of the top of how it works on that ball bearing. Um, your feet can be as long or as short um, as they come, and you can set your heel on the bar or on the floor either way. It's very light. You can see the plastic pegs, um, and there's a closer look at the actual birch of the wheel. It's Baltic birch. So this is the thing that drew me to the wheel first, is these magnetic bobbin and orifice burrs. Um, the orifice also has a hook orifice, so you can spin whatever the heck you want without getting tangled. See? I could do that with one hand. That's so cool. Uh, the tension wheel also is extremely uh, intuitive and responsive. So you can do tiny adjustments rather than humongous ones that wreak havoc on your spinning. So you can adjust as you go. So the treadling mechanism on the queen is a little different, but equally freaking cool. Um, there is the flip down footrest, so you can keep your feet off the floor if that's a problem for you. And you can see there's a lot of variation for foot length. I wear a size five and a half, so I'm tiny. <laughs> and it's really intuitive to use. The tensioning system is the same as the other one, as well as the magnetic bobbin situation. It's just so cool and easy. Um, yeah. This way you can change the bobbin or the orifice without messing up the entire tension system of your wheel like a um, bobbin lead flyer would be. So that's pretty cool in my, in my opinion. Um, the Lazy Kate, you can pull the bobbins off and then the little metal pegs also pop out. So when you're traveling, as you pull her down into her little box form, you're not like stabbing people. There's actually a little compartment where those metal rods go, but I didn't discover that until after this video. <laughs> and you can see the mechanism for closing it up. Oh, the bottom part for your feet is actually magnetized, so it stays there. That's so cool. And it's super easy to uh, pull it up and down and it's super secure. It's actually, a, you pull that knob out and it's got a tension. And if you are worried about the drive band sitting on top of it, you can just change the setting of your ratio and then the drive band won't sit on top. Or if you're like super concerned, you can just take the drive bands off. But that is pretty much the difference. Uh, you can see all of the ratios on the queen. She has a bazillion ratios, a bazillion. <laughs> and two different drive bands. So she's really versatile 